What's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we are going to talk about semantic HTML, that is to say HTML that has uh, tags that means a lot more than just uh, using div tags and span tags. Um, so I'm doing this as part of a um, uh, challenge where each month of the year 2020, I am learning a new tool or technology. And this month I am focusing on semantic HTML. And I'm going to share what I've learned so far. Uh, I think this is really important for two reasons. Uh, the first of all is because uh, semantic HTML is helping maintainability because as you write semantic HTML, another developer that uh, goes uh, after you on the code that you wrote will have a better understanding of what you wrote. So it is going to be easier to maintain, which means it's going to save costs. And the second point is that it is really useful for SEO because um, search engines like uh, Google can have a better understanding of your content. So when your users or customers will find you on the search engine result page, they will have more information and uh, their expectation will match the content of what you show on your page. So that's always good to focus on SEO as a developer. So yeah, both maintainability and SEO are cost saving or improving the revenue of the business. So that's always good thing to care about. So first of all, I am going to uh, show you an example. So all of these are examples. So these are not the only way you can use the tags that I'm showing, but these are a good way to use them. Uh, so I am first of all showing here the article tag. And this tag is really useful when you have a piece of content that can make sense outside of your website. Let's say you have a blog article or a job post. Those are pieces of content that don't need to be embedded in your website. They can be um, readable from outside of your website, outside of the context of your website. So this is a great usage for the article tag. Um, and you can use the article tag to split your, your, your page into several articles. For example, if you have uh, one page with several blog articles, that make a lot of sense. But that makes it very close to the section tag, which is another way to split your page in several pieces of content. And the difference is the section tag, what you put in it doesn't make sense outside of the context of your website. So that's the main difference, the main thing to remember uh, to make the difference between the, those two tags. And of course, an article tag, it makes a lot of sense to have several sections um, within the article. Uh, and for an article tag, it is really good to add a header with uh, H1 because this is going to give uh, to the search engine the title of your article that you're showing on the page. And another, so yeah, I just wanted to say the headers, uh, headings, H1, H2, H3, those are really important because they give a lot of information. And this is something that the search engine are uh, looking at carefully. <laughs> so those are really important. And the time HTML tag is another tag that I've learned about. Um, you can put a date in it, or you can use the date time attribute. And uh, this will give the date to the search engine that you wrote this article. And personally, as a developer, when I look uh, for articles about any technology, I often look in the at the time in the search engine to understand when this was written. And this gives me a lot more information if this is relevant to me or not. So this is a small tag, but that can make a big impact. Uh, and then you can have a footer, for example, for article footnotes or for copyright. Um, yeah, that's that was the first example. And the second example is uh, another short one. You can see the body here. So that's a tag you should be familiar with. This is uh, the wall content of the page. So here I tried to add that to show that you can use the header in another context as, for example, the header of your wall website. And in that case, often it's very um, handy to have a nav tag where you put the navigation of your website. Um, and then you can have the main tag, which is uh, contains the important stuff on your website. So like the main purpose of the page should be all contained within, within this main tag. Whereas the tag aside is especially good for um, content that is re relative to the main content, but not um, it's not why you are on this page. It's just like additional content. 
Uh, and here you can also find the footer that we had inside an article, but here you'll find it directly in the body. And uh, another uh, good and uh, relevant uh, semantic tag is address, where you can put some contact information. So be it a phone number, an actual address or an email address. Um, yeah. So that's it for the second example. That was very short. Um, but I'm really open to any questions you have and uh, feel free to give a like, subscribe. And uh, if this is a format that you like, feel free to share it because I could be back with some more videos. Thank you. Bye bye.